Well, Fishers is taking a step into the future. As we told you yesterday, an autonomous vehicle company announced it is relocating from California to Indiana. And today, News 8's Travis Robinson takes a look at what autonomous vehicles mean for Fishers streets and its surrounding cities. Travis. Yeah, guys, Fisher's mayor says he really doesn't know how this company will change the city's landscape, all because it's going to have such a large effect. But he knows whatever's going to happen, it's going to be positive. This golf cart looking vehicle called the Dragonfly Pod is fully autonomous, meaning nobody needs to drive it. And it's the pride and joy of Percepton, a tech company that's moving its global headquarters to Fishers, Indiana. I think we're uh, ever evolving and I think in, in Indiana and in Fishers is synonymous with technology in a suburban environment. The company promises 160 well paying jobs by 2022 as they move into Fishers IOT building. We think it will lift the whole uh, innovation economy uh, throughout central Indiana. So we're excited to see uh, this get started and who knows in a year or two you're going to see uh, autonomous people movers all over the communities throughout central Indiana. But you won't have to wait that long for a sneak peek because they've picked a one mile stretch of road as a shuttle route for one of these autonomous vehicles. That Fishers is going to be one of the first communities in America to have autonomous people movers that uh, move people around our community from the tech park here uh, to downtown Fishers. You can hop on uh, a people mover. We'll have a guide uh, that will be on the vehicle uh, to explain what's going on, but it will move people seamlessly uh, throughout our community. The shuttle will never go faster than 25 miles per hour, and you'll only see it between four day Ray Brewer and launch fishers. That is until they see how the community reacts. We're going to start out with a very limited uh, number and limited routes and limited time just so we can test it out, collect a little bit of data, and then it's our hope that uh, Perceptin will expand that over time and we'll see that grow here in Fishers uh, and beyond. On top of public transportation, the vehicle will serve as a tourist attraction and an invitation for others to join a growing tech community. We also know from past experience that we will attract other development uh, folks, other technology and innovation entrepreneurs, so we think this will become a critical mass. Now, there aren't any job listings yet for Perceptin, but if you're interested, you can always reach out to the IoT lab in Fishers for some more information. I'm Travis Robinson, Wish TV News 8.